Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will start implementing Wikimedia Kafka producer. So let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's go to the main package. So look at here, we are in a module, not in a parent project. Okay. So go to main package, right click, new and then choose class. Let's give class name as Wikimedia changes producer okay so this is the name we are giving to the kafka producer so hit enter and let's annotate this class with add service annotation from spring package so we are going to make this class as a spring bean by using add service annotation well within this class let's first create a logger instance so let's have private static final and then logger from cell 4j and then logger equal to logger factory and then call get logger method and then pass this wikimedia class name here dot class perfect we have created logger to log the messages next let's go ahead and let's inject kafka template from spring kafka library so we are going to use kafka template to send a messages to the kafka broker so let's first declare a kafka template and then we use constructor based dependency injection to inject this kafka template so let's pass key value as a string type okay and let's say the object name is kafka template now let's create a constructor right click generate constructor select this variable and then click on ok now we have created a constructor for this class well whenever spring finds a single constructor for a spring bean then spring will you know inject this dependency we don't have to basically add add auto wild annotation over here all right so just ignore this annotation spring will automatically inject this dependency whenever it will find a single parameterized constructor in a spring bean okay great next let's create a method which will read a real-time wikimedia stream data so let's create a method like this the method is public and the return type is wide and the method name something like send a message all right and within this method let's have a topic name post string topic equal to the topic name we have given wikimedia underscore recent change so this is the topic name we have given right so let me go to kafka topic config here and here you can see well this is the topic name that we have given to the kafka topic all right so let's go back to wikimedia changes producer over here now in order to read real time wikimedia stream data we are going to use event source so here i'm going to write the comment to read real time stream data from wikimedia we use event source well in order to create a event source and read the real time event data from the Wikimedia we have to use a couple of libraries so let's go and let's add a couple of libraries so go to the browser in a new tab just type ok http event source maven and hit enter and go ahead and click on this first link and go to 2.5.0 version and this is the maven dependency that we are going to use that is ok http hyphen event source so this is the dependency that we are going to use to create the event source to read the events from the wikimedia so let me copy this dependency go to IntelliJ idea and go to pom.xml of this particular module so we are not going to add this dependency to the parent project in fact we are going to add this dependency to the module okay so go to pom.xml of this module and create a dependency section over here dependencies and within these dependencies just paste this dependency okay perfect now if you can see the data 
this data real time stream data from the wikimedia so it has a json right so we also need to use jackson libraries in order to deal with this json so just go ahead and search for jackson json marvin hit enter and go to this first link okay and go to this 2.13.2 .2. all right and just grab this marvin dependency and go to pom.xml again and simply paste it over here now we have added jackson core dependency let's also add one more jackson dependency that is data bind dependency so go ahead and click on this and choose the latest version and just copy this dependency and go to pom.xml again and just paste it over here now we have added these three dependencies okay so here this dependency we have added in order to create a event source to read the real-time event data from the wikimedia and these two dependencies we have added to deal with the json data All right so now if you can see here this icon so go ahead and click on load marvin changes icon over here well as soon as we loaded marvin changes we got this error cannot resolve this dependency well basically this ok http hyphen event source so this dependency needs a transitive dependency so let's add a transitive dependency for this dependency so go to browser go to this maven repository and here just type http ok http hit enter and go ahead and you know click on this link so if you can see the error com dot square up dot ok so this is the dependency we need to add so go ahead and click on it and just scroll down and click on this 4.9.3 so this is the latest release of this dependency so go ahead and select this Maven dependency just copy it okay and just right below here paste this dependency and go ahead and click on this Maven changes icon so this will load this dependency from the internet now we have added all the required dependencies to the pom.xml file now we are good to write the event source code to read the real-time event data from the wikimedia now let's go back to our producer class that is wikimedia changes producer now we are good to write the event source code which will read a real-time stream data from the wikimedia well in order to handle the events we are going to create a separate class that is wikimedia change handler so let me create a class so right click on the package new and then choose java class and let's give class name as wiki media changes handler perfect and this handler class will implement event handler you know event handler interface make sure that you choose event handler interface from com dot launch directly dot event source package now we need to override couple of methods from this interface and we need to provide the implementation so just mouse around this class and then click on implement methods and then choose all these methods and click on ok all right now in this class we need to only implement on message method okay so these other methods like on open on closed on comment on error so these are the methods we are not going to implement because these are the methods that we are not going to use we are going to only use on message method well whenever there is a new event in a wikimedia then this on message method will be triggered and then it will read that event okay now what we'll do we'll create a constructor for this class so before that let's declare kafka template and just pass key type as a string value type as a string and then kafka template and also let's declare one string variable it takes a topic value okay, okay perfect now let's create a parameterized constructor right click generate constructor and select these two variables and then click on ok now we have parameterized constructor and these two parameters we pass whenever we create an instance of this class 
all right perfect now just save it and let's go to on message method so within our on message method we want to basically call the kafka template so before that here i'm going to add a logger private static final and then logger so logger from self 4j and then this should be a logger instance and then logger factory dot get logger and then pass the class name wikimedia changes handler dot class perfect so go to on message method over here and just add the logger statement so logger dot info and then pass the message let's say string dot format and type the message something like event data something like this and then placeholder that is percentage yes and then pass the message so let's say message event dot get data okay now we have added a logger statement to log the messages now let's go and let's use kafka template to send the event to the topic so let's say kafka template dot call send method so you can see here there are a lot of overloaded send methods we are going to call appropriate one so let's choose second one it takes a topic so go ahead and call this second one and then pass first argument as a topic second argument as message event dot get data okay perfect now we have created wikimedia changes handler so this will basically trigger whenever there is a new event you know wikimedia so basically if you can see here we have implemented on message method right so whenever there is a new event in a wikimedia then this handler will be triggered and this within this handler method this on message method will be called and within this on message method we have written the logic to send this message to the topic using kafka template provided send method okay it's pretty simple now let's go back to our producer class that is wikimedia changes producer so within this producer we are going to call this wikimedia changes handler class let's create a event handler object so let's type event handler make sure that you choose event handler from com dot launch darkly dot event source package and then there should be a event handler equal to new and then call the implementation class that is wikimedia changes handler and then pass first parameter as a kafka template second parameter as a topic perfect now we have created a event handler next we need to define the event source url that is rest api url so let me simply copy that url from here so this is the rest api url it provides real time wikimedia stream data right so let me copy this link and let me pass here perfect now we need to pass this url to the event source next we need to create a event source which will basically connect to the source that is wikimedia source and it will read all the event data so let's create a event source and make sure that you choose event source from com dot launch directly dot event source package and then call builder so first we need to create a builder event source builder and then we create a event source object from the event source builder next new and then event source dot builder and then pass event handler as a first parameter second parameter as the uri so just call uri dot create and then pass url perfect now we have created event source builder now let's create a event source object from this builder so let's say event source and then event source equal to builder dot build method perfect we have created event source object well if you can see the internal implementation of event handler event handler internally uses executor service to create the threads okay so now what we need to do is we need to you know start this event source in a separate thread so just call event source dot start okay perfect i am going to provide the slip slip for 10 minutes so just call minutes and then call slip and then 10 minutes okay after 10 minutes this should be stopped 
okay so let me see what is the error here so this should be so this should handle the exception okay perfect now what we have done basically we have created a wikimedia changes handler so this handler will be triggered whenever there is an event in a wikimedia and then this event source will basically connect to the source that is wikimedia source and the source URL is this and then this event source will full all the real time stream data from this source and then it will trigger the respective handler okay and then within a handler we have written a code to send that event to the topic isn't it 